Fine. Final Eddie Winter Estate. Oh, come on. Natick Police Department. we don't have to really send the holo tapes. I also don't recall where we needed to go afterwards, but I'm sure we'll be we'll be told that. There's something out there. Oh shit. I guess it's safe for now. Where's the sniper rifle so bad? Someone's coming. And even the pistol will kill with a single shot. Sniper rifle won't. Because these are blood flies instead of black blood flies. What hell aroma is that? Don't ask if you don't want to know. Let's go. What grenades am I using? Fragmentation, and we have 15. But we can be fairly liberal in their use. What is this? Multiple military vehicles. No map mark. Well, at least it doesn't look like there's anything too interesting. On the positive side, it's also nothing too time consuming to... The random power armor. Something's about to spot us. He spotted us already. It's a road. You don't have to threaten it. It's not impressed. What a glue. Um. 
uh, late power armor. We don't have uses for the ones we have at the moment. And that didn't look particularly high tech in any way. I suppose a power armor is a power armor. Stingwing. You watch yourself. Multiple you ones. Ooh. Fuck. <sighs> so fucking dead, I can't even see properly anymore. One way to get that cool and pumping. They're not quite as bad as I thought, but at the same time, once you get stinged, we'll be taking that. No good. You take a significant amount of damage. I guess it's because it's a poison. You don't really have a resistance as to it at all. Most armors probably don't. Also, the graphical effects isn't really helping. Looks like Super Mutant Base. Not sure if I want to go and stick my nose there. If I can loot the bodies and go back, probably go around that place. Um, okay. Let's take a closer look. There's a road here that goes exactly where we need to go. Yes, we are going here. Let's see if I can keep some distance. What to go there? Cause of the bear. So far, the Yagua that we've encountered have been stunted, probably as weak as they're gonna come. I haven't even encountered a single normal one. <laughs> 
little low and maybe some powerful ones. So, uh, a little caution is probably warranted. I'm curious about the cabin there. No map marker. That empty freeze. Coolant. Empty coolant. Empty coolant is no use. Hey! Disappearing out top! What the fuck is <sighs> Yeah. Nick, when the enemy sees you, it's okay to fire. The enemy is right next to you with a missile launcher, you you panic like a motherfucker and empty your clip in it. I think we were okay. Then that happened. So they came out to look, started firing maybe. Could also have been on a patrol. I think we're alone. Fuck. I, I really dislike the sniper rifle. It's it's too weak to do what it needs to be able to do. We're much better off trying to go in a little bit closer. And just use a goddamn pistol. So the entire point of a sniper rifle is that you can use basically one shot to end the fight. Hell yeah. It's a bad position, because no matter where he shoots uh, us from, he's, uh, we have a uh, ground right at our backs. So even if he misses, he's still gonna hit. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. We would have to get very close to him, or just get two sniper rifle hits very near each other so he doesn't have the time to really shoot. Something out. What the fuck is that?
fucking veteran. I can't do damage, so it's not enough to kill it. Not with this weapon at least. Okay, Nick started shooting back at them for some reason. I'm guessing Nick got accidentally shot a bit, so he started to return fire. <sighs> I don't care. I just stop firing on our allies, please. Exactly, was Mr. Missile Launcher guy when he died? Uh, okay. They're more or less cleaning the area we need to go to next. Building anyway. a collection or something? That's the missile launcher, but I don't particularly care about that. I'm wondering where the guy is. Was mini gun down? We're okay. Other hood guys have moved on, so even if they're still hostile in the wars in Nick and me, they're not gonna be a problem. What the fuck is that? It's an uh, electricity trap, I think. Right. Nice. Crap, 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 crap. Had access, but which clearly is physically there. Well, whatever. Have use for the current one, so why should I worry about that? Omega's blowtorch. Where's Nick? There you are.
Hmm. Moving on. I already see the target. won't be hurting for housing anymore. Suppressed hardened piercing automatic. That's a lot of upgrades in a weapon. Or we can't get access to those. Book return machine. Okay, what the fuck is this? Welcome to the book return reward machine. Here you can return any overdue books you may have in your section as well as spend any rich book return tokens you have accrued on an assortment of fun items. Up tokens. Bubble gum. Well, we do. Tell alien. Pencil. Tell alien. Yarst. It's a hairbrush. Um. Yay. Maybe one of these at some point has something interesting. Legendary Raider. A new King Explosion. Are gonna explode? There we go. A valier's board. Take fifteen percent less damage while blocking or sprinting. What a horrible thing. It was a legendary enemy, so you sort of are at least a little bit curious what you get from it. It's, uh, we've gotten one, I suppose, potentially useful item, that, but because how the implementation of it is done, it's, uh, it's too aggravating to use. So, I haven't really gotten a single... Well, maybe I have some armor piece that I'm using that provides extra protection. But in general, the legendary items, uh, they're a little more than curiosities. It's, uh, it's a wrap.
Hmm. More locations for winter holotapes. We don't need any more. Keep collecting those. Maybe I can find a uh, place where we're gonna get rewarded properly for returning books. Hey, what's the plan? Hey, Valentine. So you got something for me? Maybe a pocket full of tapes belonging to an old ghoul? Finally got them all. Here. No fooling. Wow. That's some real solid detective work. Uh, they're older than dirt, but they've got Eddie's paw prints all over them. These are the real deal. And they've still got the code pieces in them. Let me run them through the old processor. I wonder if it's code for Nick. Got it. One, nine, five, three, seven, two, eight. Four zero six. That old thug's holed up in Andrew's station. Now, let's go bring down Eddie Winter. What I was getting to is that he's basically a sin, and um, this is part of his programming. More or less, these memories. I mean, there's no telling that they're actual memories, really. He, some, someone could have easily implanted him these, and uh, so give him a mission to basically gather up this code. The moat hive, I suppose, would be the bigger problem. But, um, you get the general idea. There's very likely some kind of a institute uh, security features on Nick can end up biting us in the ass. Talk to settlers in Somerville place. Uh fail. Okay. So there's time constraints on these. That's probably what the messages I've been seeing are. The problem is I have never had at the time to read them. So uh, I I did notice that yeah there's some kind of message, but I what the fuck is the message and there is no way to review it. So yeah some kind of notification. By the time I basically start to look at it really read it, it's already fading out. So if it's anything but uh basically a couple of words, like a, you had a level up or something like that, uh, I'm not gonna be able to read it. <sighs> this is, in a way, sort of something that I have had been worried about. 
it's uh they've dumped uh this kind of baby shitting horseshit on me. I don't particularly feel bad about it or bad about failing. I just feel bad about the failing, sort of, because I didn't know I was failing in the first place. Let's go. You know what you have to do. So, I guess the best way for us is to never ask anything from the Minutemen. Because so if we ask them, we have to go and do them. So if we just keep ignoring them, maybe we can ignore the management aspect too. I don't get why the the dogs have these goddamn noises. They don't sound anything like a dog. Okay, I quick travel to this place. The place we have to go, and uh, only there has to be. I can't actually enter it through here. Playing games with me, huh? Ah, uh, they're up there somewhere. Scared, huh? You should be. Super scared of them now. I wonder if your built-in defenses will save a plate, I mean if it's being attacked. I don't think so, I think you have to always go to defend, it just means waiting. how easy it is to win it. If it's well built, all you need to do is arrive and... What exactly are we fighting here anyway? You gotta reload sometime, asshole. Don't you die on me. Yeah, yeah. Who has some meat? Stingwing meat. 
actually a fairly good healing item without even uh, making anything out of it. I know you know. No idea what you're doing there. Raised polymer combat armor right arm. Um, I don't know what that even means. Not sure what good Sweet. we can do, it's not that durable. It does have a laser stuff, so it could cause some damage. Wait, 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 what's this? Crapper. Jangle Smooth Monkey. Not sure why I'm picking them up. I suppose because I started to pick them up. We know there are raiders on the lower floors. I mean, smell. Why does well use this? If it gets destroyed, we can get good scrap out of it.
Spotlight control. I am here. Commencing attack on us. Sounds like there's a turret somewhere too. Turret was uh, technically part of the same protection system. Anything useful? Ah, uh, well, whatever. Limbum. What the hell is spotting us? That's where we need to go. We're here, we're gonna take a proper look at the place. Mostly drugs. Still be void.
plus plasma grenades. Still boy. I suppose these and stuff. Okay, let's go. Forty paces What's away that? from the target. You're useless, do you know that? Actually, no. You contribute some damage from time to time, but you're such a pain to ass at other times. <sighs> or pain in the limbs this time, I suppose. Was an arm and a leg thanks to you. Again, it, you could have sneaked through. Come on, I'm shooting at. Do something. I suppose because he has a sniping weapon, he doesn't do anything but sniping now. That seems odd. Yeah, I should just uh, change this weapon to something else. I mean, I, I don't really want him to snipe. Uh, I was just thinking that he would... He would basically be more accurate. If I keep adding the accuracy bonuses to it. Which he probably is, however, it might affect his uh, artificial intelligence behavior. So he'll try to maintain the... He will not use it uh, at long distance, really. Um, I mean at short distance, naturally. Because it's a sniper rifle. Sweet. Be another weapon with different type of ammo. More of a or the same type of ammo. Another laser institute weapon that's more focused on just pure damage. Or conserving ammo or something. Non sniping weapon. This is our target.
not even close. Sort of look like one of those shelter pods. Yes. Be careful here. Nick has mysteriously disappeared again. This isn't where we need to go, but I'm wondering where does this go. Probably an easier exit or something. Probably get something good this time. Yeah, science rank three. That's a new level of bonuses for energy weapons. Please something else, like heavier laser turrets or things like that. Thirty-nine for gun, not four. Yeah, take the science. Next rank is 41. That filthy toad's right on the other side of that door. Why don't you do the honor? Sure. One nine five three seven two eight four zero six. You ain't gonna come in and say hi? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? Who the fuck are you? I'm Eddie Winter, and you're in my bunker. Just how the fuck did you get... No. No way. Not after all this time. Don't tell me you actually cracked my code. In the holotapes? <laughs> well, hey. It's only been, what, 200 years? <laughs> well, look, I'm not sure what you thought you'd find. Gold, jewels, the secrets of the universe. But you get me, one guy, a ghoul, I guess you'd call me. Just living, surviving, and what I got, you can't have. That code, <laughs> it was a joke. I just wanted to prove how dumb those feds were. Turns out, pretty dumb. So take your asses someplace else. I'm not going anywhere until I get what I came for. Yeah? And what's that? And who are you, huh? You look kind of familiar. But what are you, some kind of robot? Is that what it's like out there now? A world of robot overlords? I knew it. The name's Valentine. Nick Valentine. Remember me? Valentine? The cop? Is that who you're supposed to be? Sorry, pal. But you ain't Nick Valentine. You're just some kind of, uh, machine. You killed my fiance, Jennifer Lance. There's some crimes even you can't get away with, Winter. Your fiance? You mean Valentine's fiance. Pretty girl. Shame what happened to her. But hey, you? Or, you know, the real Valentine? He should have backed off when he had the chance. But what gives, Robot Man? Why do you even care? Some girl gets whacked 200 years ago, and you come into my home, acting like a hot guy? Christ, look at you. You're not even alive. Then I guess I'm in good company. You ain't taking me down! Ah! No. Yeah. 
done here. There's one more thing I've got to do. I wouldn't mind the company if you wanted to tag along. Um, you mind if I look through this terminal? I didn't want to really take part in the fighting because I, I didn't really have any reason to try to kill the ghoul. The sneaks thing. that more experience for me but just pick the lock yes how the hell did he survive here Don't have the food for this. Do you open the door? Joe's fucking space. Near the terminal. Let me see that. That's it. Uh. Okay, Nick. Let's see this to the end.
This is it. In this spot, 200 years ago, one of Eddie's boys put a bullet in Jenny Land's back. Now Eddie's as dead as Jenny. And Nick. I... I'm at a loss. All I know is that without you, Eddie'd still be at large. Taking down Winter was a big deal. Are you doing all right? I don't know. It's a lot to take in. Winter was it. The only reminder left of the original Nick Valentine. The last proof outside of some long-lost Institute archive I was ever just a mechanical copy of some cop from a bygone era. I'm not sure how to feel. Don't you see, Nick? You're finally free. There is no other Nick anymore. Just you. I wish it was that easy. But it's not. Because I was Nick Valentine. I had his memories, his, his fears, all that poor bastard's hope. I remember getting the call to head to some lab in Cambridge to get that neurotrans whatever. And the next thing I know, I'm in a trash heap. My family, my home, my entire life, gone. Then I discover all those things that they weren't even mine. Everything I ever was belonged to Nick. I'd hoped with winter gone, the last hint of that old world snuffed out, I could, I could finally be free. But being out here with you, what I, what I finally realized after all this time was that taking down winter, it wasn't about Nick or Jenny or even you or me. It was about justice about doing what's right, and that act of goodness, that's ours. All the good we've done, that's ours, and ours alone. And even if that's the only thing in this world that I can ever claim as mine, not Nick's, not the Institute's, but mine, then I can die happy. And none of it would have ever happened if it weren't for you. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to thank you for that. So now that winter's gone, what's next? My plan was to keep things going as is. I hope yours is the same. Well, come on then. We're not helping anyone standing around here. Having reached the highest level of affinity with Nick, you have gained the close to missile perk. Yeah, that is if you're, if you're still interested in traveling together. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted some time on your own after all this. Of course. Let's do it. I'm glad to hear it. Come on, let's get out of here. Um, what exactly? So, I think, I hope this is a permanent perk. Thanks to your relationship with Nick Valentine, you get one extra guess and 50% faster thermal cooldown when hacking. One extra guess is incredibly useful. Thermal cooldown, not so. Can we get this with everyone? Probably. Hmm. You gain plus 25 X present XP from persuading women. Right.
We need to... What was the colony that was, I think, destroyed? Was it Somerset something? I don't know. It's one of its on-site hidings. I don't recall. Is it Somerville Place? Yeah, I have no no real fucking clue anymore. It was a place somewhere. Maybe it was a Somerville. I'll quick travel there, then quick travel to our base of operations. I, I need to decide what I'm gonna do. Um, maybe new settlements, maybe reinforce our defenses or something. I I'm not sure. This does allow the map does allow us to show supply lines. So that's something. Everything seems to be cool. Not sure what I missed out on. Show supply lines. Yeah, there should be only one. Good, good. I need to connect red rocket trucks up to this. No, no, no. I, I need to migrate all my stuff from the red rocket truck stuff to somewhere else. Probably the castle. Although. Hmm. might be a good idea to have a basically a separate independent base both this is another good sign you can see all your colonies only your colonies you have nothing at the center area nothing here either I think uh, there was a farm here that I don't have access to. So maybe Timbine's Bluff had something happen to it, so it's no longer a colony for us. Uh, yeah, I think there were two Minutemen there. Or were there? No, I just passed through it. There was no reason to go there. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'll return to the red rocket garage and end it there. I did think about doing some management business, maybe build up our first proper city and all that. Uh, I haven't exactly changed my plans on that. They're working the fields. Maybe I should should switch to another companion. Uh, at the same time, I don't particularly need, feel the, a huge need to farm those character influence or affinity points. At the same time, it wouldn't hurt to test it out a little bit. I mean, if this uh, playthrough is for one thing, it's for testing out things. What do you really want to do? How do things work? That sort of thing. So when I play sometime in the future, I know what to ignore pretty much totally. What not to do? Ah, 
We did get some news. Hidden forever. Not if I have my say. Humanity is so resilient. To cling to life despite all of this, it is the duty of a Sounds of fighting coming from somewhere. Doesn't matter. We'll worry about it some other time. 